Hello, Science Bus. Uh, I'm Neil. And I'm Dimitri. And yeah, we're going to show you how to do a strawberry DNA extraction. Alright, so the first thing we need is strawberries. So yeah, you can see here we've got a nice strawberry in here. Nice and red with a little bit of green on the top. So we'll just take this off uh, and you know, set this aside. <laughs> and now the next thing we need is a Ziploc bag. You're going to put the strawberry in the Ziploc bag. And then close it and try and make sure to get as much air out as possible when you do that. So, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be mashing the strawberry up uh, to try and break down uh, the cells a little bit. So, all right, now see, just like this. Just want to mash it up. That's pretty good. Alright, so you want to do this for about two minutes. So we'll start the timer. Yeah, the timer there. Okay, so now we want to mash this for about two minutes. So we have the timer here. There we go. And some other things that we'll be using in this experiment is a coffee filter, a pipette, a vial, and some solutions. One of them is a lysis buffer. And the other one is alcohol. Now please note that you can't drink either of these. They're very dangerous. Alright. So as you can see now, the strawberry is nice and mashed up. Uh, so I think as I mentioned before, that the purpose of doing this is to try and break down the cells a little bit. Because, um, you know, as you've probably learned so far, the, the DNA is actually inside the cells. Uh, and so what we want to do is break them open so that it releases the DNA out into, out into the solution. So, now we want to um, add some lysis buffer, which is actually... Um, so, yeah, so the lysis buffer here uh, is made out of uh, just dish soap and water. So it's... Uh, one part dish soap to nine parts water, um, and then a little bit of salt in there as well. And what that does is it actually breaks down the cell membranes uh, and releases the, the DNA into solution. So, Dimitri, you want to measure out a uh, 15 milliliters of the lysis buffer? All right, so we get one vial full of lysis buffer. this in here. And now you want to make sure to flick out the extras in there because we'll be reusing the, the vial um, to, to pour your solution through the filter into. Alright, so now we just mix this some more. We'll go for another two minutes. So I'll take the, uh, this is called a you know, centrifuge tube, um, so we'll take this and make sure the cap's off and then one of your partners will cut the, the edge off the bag, just a little corner off, and then put it into the filter. And basically what we're trying to do here um, is to filter out all the large chunks and just get like a nice fine liquid. And then we're trying to filter it through the filter into the centrifuge tube. So all right, here we go. Hopefully this doesn't get everywhere. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, it's not really going through very well. Um, that's because there's not enough water in here compared to, you know, strawberry bits. But oh, there it's starting to go through. So that's good. just make sure here. You want to hold the. Uh, All right. Yeah. Yeah. So just like one of you guys can squeeze it a little bit. Then once you've reached a uh, three or three, three mils or so, okay, that's probably good. All right. So we'll just put this back in the bag. 
and throw the bag into the trash. So yeah, nice, nice and messy here. So let's, here. So what you see right here is the strawberry uh, extract. So now what we want to do is we'll take this is isopropyl alcohol, as Dimitri said before. Don't drink this; uh, it's quite poisonous. So what you want to do is unscrew the cap and then get one full pipette's worth in here. So when you do this, you want to be careful. You want to tilt the, the tube on its side a little bit and just run it very gently down the side uh, so that the, the alcohol layer is on top of the, the strawberry. The top layer is of the alcohol and the bottom layer is of the solution with the strawberry in it. Yeah, and right in between the two, uh, it's called the interface, you should see the DNA starting to separate out. Happy experimenting.